Right, yo, hopefully a very quick instructional video on how to update your firmware on the DIP MMC future to uh, any future editions of ESX DOS. Um, so yeah, um, quite a simple process to do. Number one, pop off to esxdos.org and download the firmware. Um, and then uh, you'll need to unpack that onto your uh, divs SD card. Um, I've unpacked it into the temp folder. So there's the new version, 0.88. Um, so that's that's ready to go. Um, so all we got to do now is literally grab the SD card from the reader. Will he be able to do all of this in one shot? Um, so I've just shoved that in my uh, test bench. Where's the other camera? La la la. There. So yeah, I'll just plug that in there. Picture in picture. So there, there's one of those. Straight from stock, by the way. Wish me luck. So yeah, what we need to do. Oh yeah, it'd be a good idea if we turn the Spectrum camera on as well. So there we go. So what we need to do is load this up. So this has got 8.7 on it at the moment. So we're going to now update this to 8.8. .8. So uh, in the normal way, as if this was a game, we just press the NMI button, go to my temp folder, find the files I unpacked, and here we go. So we want to load the MMC version of the tap file there. Yeah, esxmmc.tap. This will load in an instant. Doink. Now it says um, adjust flash views, uh, JP2. You need to just eject the SD card. That is how to disable the div and open it for write mode. So yeah, we've ejected the SD card. What we're going to do is press key, and that will do the actual flashing. Now expect a jump cut here because this is dull. Actually, thinking about it, whilst it's doing that, we can take the SD card because it's not in the machine. Shove it in my card reader. Right, okay, so that's actually finished flashing now, you can see, but in the meantime, we're just going to pop open the uh, SD card, which I've now find, found. So we're going to go into the temp folder, go into Exodos, and grab the sys file and the bin folder, and copy those. And then we are going to replace the files that are already in this folder. The folders are already in the folder, just literally copy over the top. Uh, replace files in destination. I don't know if that's being captured, but that's what I've done. So yeah, there we go. That's the files um, copied across. Close that window. Boink. Right, so now I can grab the SD card out of my reader, which is here. Multiple cameras. Put that in the div. Now I'm going to power cycle the div. So turn it off. Put the SD card in, which has now got the new files on it. The firmware is loaded. There we go, 8.8. .8. Job done. Right, so that's it then. That's that's the div updated to 8.8. .8. Um, so how did we do this? Well, we downloaded the file from esdx.dos.org. We unpacked it with the temporary folder. We loaded the MMC file. You ejected the SD card before you hit the key to start programming. Um, then you replace the exedos files on the SD card for the new ones, which was the bin files and the sys files. And then, uh, you know, put the SD card back in, power back on, and 8.8 .8 is loaded. If you don't have a, a Div MMC future, they are available via the link below, wherever that is. And, oh yeah, I can show you the page, probably. Boing, boing, there you go. So yeah, you can, you can get your own from the website. Yeah, that's it. Happy reprogramming.